Hopefully this video just taught you how to break Meta SAM model. You have been hearing a lot about GPT-4 and Midjourney, but this new model is going to blow your mind. So Meta just released Segment Anything model, which is effectively a model that can cut out anything from any image by just a click. Here's how it looks, right? So you can select objects that you want. And if you want to remove certain objects from those objects, you can do that. Right? So addition and removal, you can automatically segment everything in an image. You can generate multiple valid masks for objects that have more than one objects, I'd say. So there are there is three, right? There's a jacket, there's a top, and then there's a person. So it kind of cropped out only the jacket. Here are some examples that the model has showcased. You can see how it's detecting objects in the video. Imagine what it can do for augmented reality. Crazy. You can see it's also understanding what these objects or animals are in this case. It can not only extract objects, it can then be lifted as a 3D object once it's been extracted. So literally crazy. I think this is the biggest development in generative AI, especially from the 3D standpoint. This is very hard to identify even to a naked eye, but the model is very clearly identifying the objects in each of these images. This image seems to be a drawing done by a kid, but it's a comfortably, but it's comfortably identifying all these. All right. All right. So now let's just try the model itself. And I have two images that I'll try in order to break the model. Let's try it. Right. So it's a research preview, obviously. Uh, these are some of the predefined image. Let's start easy. Let's start by the images that have been provided by them. Let's say we do this cricket image. So it's generating an embedding now. You can add an area, but if you want to remove specific areas from the image, then you can obviously remove area and click on those areas. So let's try it. First, uh, let's say this object. You can see the minute you hover, right? Just remove the area once. You can see the minute you load the image, it's automatically segmented certain objects for you in the image. You can then specifically click on objects that you want to segment out from the image, right? So I'm going to say this guy who's standing here. Oh, let's just say add mask. I was doing the move. Now the whole person is segmented. Uh, if you don't think this is powerful, check this out, right? So you can click on cut out object and you can see the person is now cut out from the image. You can do similar things with other of these players, right? And you can obviously look at the other cutout. You can see I've cut out two objects now. Let's try other things, right? So you can also draw a box and then it will cut out all objects in that box. A bunch of these players got cut out. You can click on cut out object to see all of these uh, being cut out from the image. You can do everything which will basically cut out all the relevant objects from the image automatically by identifying what these objects. You can see it identified these objects and then you can say cut out all objects. Takes a while, uh, but it went ahead and cut out all the objects. from. It's not perfect, but it was able to do it. Imagine what this can do for 3D speed, right? So now let's try and break the model. I'm going to start easy. You can obviously also upload your own image. So I'm going to start with this image of Backstreet Boys and then I'm going to really upload an image that will break the model. So it takes some time to uh, upload the image because it extracts embedding from the image. So while it does that, if you are interested in generative AI and everything that's happening in generative AI, you need to join our Discord group. We discuss everything that's new in generative AI and that's what I've added the link in the description. Anywho, so the image is uploaded. You can add the mask and it will cut out. The, so you can say cut out the object and you can find it here. Again, you can say everything. And Sam is kind of looking at all of these objects in the image. And there you go. It was able to identify all the objects. So this is an easy one, right? Let's try the hard one, which I'm 100% sure the model will not be able to understand. So I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, this is the picture of a train carrying a bunch of passengers uh, somewhere, right? It's extremely crowded or they, I, I don't know, for some reason they're just celebrating. I'm going to see how the model performs in something because there are so many people in the object. It's obviously either going to take a lot of time or struggle to extend. Mm. Very interesting. You can see by <laughs> by default, the everything uh, is disabled. It knows it has too many objects. Oh no, it's back. So let's try it. So Sam is looking at the, yeah, it's not perfect. You can see there are some objects that are not including this person, this person. And every Thing beyond this point basically is not uh, included. But yeah, that's how pretty much the model works. Effectively, it will extract objects. Now you can say cut out all objects and it will extract these specific objects that were selected from the image and add it uh, to your cutout set. So we, this video just taught you how to break Meta SAM model. You can obviously hover over specific subjects. Let's also try box and see if it cuts out specific objects when we try this. Actually, it's terribly slow, especially in, with images like this. Yeah it's not working really so yeah and I, I think that's pretty much all i wanted to talk through the video you know how the model works you know how to break it go crazy see you guys